Sure. Um, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Joël Lejean from uh, French TV and Radio, Bien TV and uh, RTL. Uh, my question is about uh, what seems to be a sort of um, time, um, an agenda, uh, let's say, for ISIS. Um, apparently, they're in weaker positions. And uh, if there is some uh, room to say that there is some sort of uh, working closer relationship between ISIS and Al Qaeda. That's my first question. And uh, follow up on that, just for the news, uh, just received some email from uh, Conte saying that uh, uh, today Prime Minister has uh, stated that again they won't negotiate and so on and so But we have the impression, that follows the question here, that Conte seems to give the responsibility of the end of the negotiation on Jordan. Do you think Jamal should be a little more stronger in his position and say maybe we don't deal with terrorists? そうですね、あの、関係はそのヨルダンにその交渉案に任せてお願いしてるっていう感じだっていうことだと思うんでございますが、関係がもうちょっと直接、まあ、例えば、もちろんその日本というのはそのイスラム国と直接のチャンネルを持っているわけではありませんし、ただやっぱりその日本のまああのインテリジェンスと言いますか、ではですねやっぱりそのずっとまあ日本はこうアメリカに遠慮して言われる
でまあ、イスラム国はそうしたヨーロッパが作った秩序を、えー、壊してしまう、えー、というようなことを言っているわけです。でそういうあのヨーロッパが作った国境線を取っ払ってさらにこう大きなあの国境を立ち上げて国家を作るというのがイスラム国の狙いでおそらくヨルダン王政を打倒することも彼らの視野に入っている。でそういうあの彼らが打倒することを考えるそのヨルダン王政を使って、えー、交渉することがあの適切であったかなということですけども、まあ、これはおそらくその安,倍政安倍首相がです、ね、イスラエルを訪問している間にあの今回の皆の賞金要求が起きたのでとりあえずイスラエルがヨルダンに、えー、対策本部を置こうというそういう、えー、考えだったとは思うんですね。ただその後結交渉過程を見るとですねあのやはりイスラム国の側は日本政府の動きをよく見ていると私は思うんです。で、あの安倍さんがそのイスラム国と戦う諸国に日本国を支援を行うといった直後に最初の身の商品要求の映像が出てきたと思うんですね。で、彼らの身の商品要求額、日本ドルは日本円に237億円ですけども、その額も安倍,政安倍首相の発言を。儲けて、えー、皮肉るようなそういう意図があったと思うんですね。で、で、あのまあ日本がその対策本部を4段に置いたから今回あの死刑囚の、えー、解放を、えー、求めておりますけども、ねえー、もしあのトルコに、えー、日本が対策本部を置いてならば、えー、今回のようなあの予期にならなかったと思います。あ、um.。In regard to your second question as to、um, why uh, uh, would, uh, the background be behind uh, uh, Jordan being used as a negotiating channel by、uh, Prime Minister Abe, and、uh, first of all, I'd like to say that probably the、uh, Conte or、uh, Prime Minister Abe's administration had no other negotiating channel except uh, Jordan, uh, and uh, because uh, over time,、uh, The Japanese government has not tried to develop other communication channels with uh, Islamic, um, with, with ISIL or other uh, organizations. Um, uh, I believe that、uh, Japanese intelligence capabilities are considerable, but I think over the years they have sort of refrained uh, from uh, moving out on their own.、Uh, they have refrained、uh, out of courtesy to the United States、uh, to not develop channels with what we are called Islamic fundamentalist groups. Uh, so,、um, I think it is uh, that uh, background uh, that has、uh, created the current situation where Japan has very few uh, such uh, people or ways to have, have communicate、uh, with uh, these problematic groups.、Um, in the past, for example, the Muslim Brotherhood,、uh, they were not、uh, able to, the Japanese government was not able to maintain any kind of a, a dialogue.、Um, as I think about these things,、um, I realize that one of the words,、uh, that one of the phrases that has been used by Prime Minister Abe recently、uh, quite often is the word terrorist or terrorist organizations, or we will not bow to terrorism. Uh, but、um, I think the word terrorism in, in, or terrorist organization in referring to ISIL is a, a way to simply sort of provoke、um, uh, ISIL. And I think it's、uh, not just Mr. Abe, I think many Japanese politicians tend to use the word terrorist or terrorism、uh, very lightly、uh, without really taking into account how uh, people uh, view uh, these organizations. In other words, certainly from the point of view of the United States、uh, or Israel,、uh, groups such as、uh, Hamas、uh, fire rockets into. Israel. So, certainly,、uh, they like to refer to Hamas as a terrorist organization, and、uh, Hezbollah is another organization that is often referred to in the Western media as a terrorist organization. However, there is the reality that there are many people in the Islamic world who do not necessarily regard these organizations as terrorist organizations.、Uh, however, in the past, we've had,、um, for example, Prime Minister Koizumi say, We will never negotiate with a terrorist. Uh, the fact, again,、uh, that so many、uh, Japanese politicians use this word lightly is a way to,、uh, for, I think, unconsciously or inadvertently、uh, worsen the situation.、Um, in other words, we have to、uh, think about uh, uh, the best possible ways to uh, negotiate uh, with uh, these uh, different uh, organizations. And、um, if we're talking about Jordan, I'd like to go into a little bit more、uh, in detail and think about the background to ISIL and what are their long term、uh, concerns or what are their long term、uh, goals.、Uh, they have said directly that they want to overturn、uh, the current order or the current status quo、uh, in the、um, 
Middle East and the countries uh, that exist in the Middle East uh, now were uh, countries that were arbitrarily uh, created by the United, uh, the United Kingdom and France, um, other uh, victorious nations uh, after uh, World War I. Uh, in fact, there is the Sykes-Picot Secret Agreement, uh, which was uh, responsible for creating these um, countries such as uh, Iraq, uh, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, and also the um, Palestinian uh, refugees, uh, which have continued to be an international problem for decades now. So ISIL has said uh, that their biggest uh, goal is eventually to create, to take away all of these arbitrary uh, national borders and to uh, uh, dissolve these arbitrarily created uh, nations uh, that were created by the uh, Western powers. And included among these uh, arbitrarily created nations is the monarchy of um, Jordan. Uh, so when you consider that we're trying to use this um, Jordan, Jordanian nation uh, as a negotiating uh, country for, with, uh, with ISIL, um, whether that was an appropriate thing to do or not, considering that ISIL eventually wants to see um, ISIL, uh, Jordan dissolved as a nation, I wonder if that was perhaps the best uh, possible way to go. Um, I think that uh, because the hostage situation suddenly arose while Prime Minister Abe and his party were in the Middle East, their immediate, immediate reaction was to set up an emergency headquarters, and their first thought was Israel or Jordan, and they just ended up doing it in Jordan. But because uh, the headquarters uh, for countermeasures uh, to deal with the situation was established in Jordan, uh, this allowed ISIL uh, to change their demands and start uh, demanding that uh, um, an inmate on death row uh, be released uh, that was being held by Jordan. When you look at what ISIL has been doing, you can see that ISIL has been watching the movements of Japan very, very carefully. In other words, uh, immediately after uh, Prime Minister Abe made a policy statement speech uh, promising $200 million in aid, humanitarian aid, to the nations battling ISIL, this video was released basically mimicking, almost sarcastically, ironically, uh, cynically, uh, the words of Prime Minister Abe and demanding a ransom, a figure that was almost exactly identical to what Mr. Abe had promised uh, these nations. Um, again, I go back to the idea that uh, if perhaps the headquarters for countermeasures to deal with the situation had not been established by the Japanese government in Jordan, then this uh, idea for hostage exchange might not have arisen. Uh, it would, I'm sorry, uh, it would, if uh, the headquarters had been established not in Jordan, but in, for example, Turkey, then that exchange demand might not have arisen. First of all,